board meeting for Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. We'll all stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a moment of silence for all the crazy thing that's happened on and we ask our Lord to fix it. All right, our first item is roll call. Carl? Here. Bev? Here. Mary Agnes? Here. Sherry? Here. Tom is absent. Excused. Tom uh, is in the trucking business and he had a, one of his drivers total a truck and trailer today, so he's not. The driver's okay. Well, the that's woman that drove the car is okay. The baby in the back seat is okay. Ooh, baby. But but the truck and the trailer is gone. So, mm. and I don't think he was up to. He called me a little while ago and he wasn't up to attending. So, okay, agenda approval. We have nothing under consent agenda, but we do have new business F three A and three B. Uh, this is going to be regarding our uh, uh, possibility of getting match money from the road commission. And we were talking about repairing Shortcut Road from Starville to Marsh Road. And each mile of, of road is $260,000, and I will go through that with you when we actually discuss it. Um, but it's for the Sinclair County Road Commission Local System Funding Assistance Program. That's being added, um, and also we have an announcement uh, of, of a request for a joint meeting with the uh, Planning Commission. The next uh, item then is to approve the uh, consent agenda, the, no, the regular agenda uh, with these two additions. Do I have a motion to approve? I make a motion to approve the agenda with those additions. Do we have a second? I'll I'll second. Say. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Um, all in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Barry Agnes? Yes. Carl? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is the consent agenda. We have the approval of the board minutes from the regular meeting uh, last month of June 9th. We have the town hall meeting minutes that we had for those residents who were interested in public water on the shortcut road from the corner of Starville East to McKinley, south on McKinley, where it stopped in 2009, and just south of Shortcut Road. Then the corner of Shortcut and McKinley East to Marsh. This meeting was held on the June 30th, and the minutes were prepared by our clerk, and she gave you all kinds of, uh, all the emails that came in, she gave you copies of the sign-in signatures uh, and as well as the minutes. Uh, the next item is the approval of the township treasurer reports, the reconciliation of tax account 3905 as of April 30th, reconciliation of the general checking 5667 as of April 30th, the cash summary report <coughs> account by general fund for April 30th. Um, and we have the approval of the clerk's reports, the revenue and expenditure report, periods beginning June 1st and ending June 30th of 2021. It's 24 pages. Uh, also the approval of payroll checks. Payroll dates from June 1st through June 30th at a gross amount <clears throat> in the amount of $24,181.36. Paycheck numbers 2826 through 2851 and also the items of accounts payables. $551 uh, in the opens for the paid through June 1st through June 30th, and $139,031. Uh, checks that were already paid, 40 of them, from checks number 20861 through 20901. We have the reports for the Marine City Fire Authority Department runs for the month of June of 2021 and Ira Township's department runs for those that they serviced in our township for June of 2021. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented and pay the bills? I approve. Okay, we have a motion by 
Carl, do we have a second for? I second. And a second by Bev. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Bev? Yes. Carl? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Todd, excused. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is open session since we don't have anybody to approach the uh, podium. We'll continue with unfinished business, which we have none. Then we have new business. The first item is a request for approval of the water distribution reliability study and general plan proposal for Cotterville Township Water Department. This was proposed in 2018, about the time we were changing township engineers and it got lost in the shuffle. This study is required by the state of Michigan every five years and it was verified by John T. Monty of Project Control Engineering that he would handle this work for the same proposal price that he quoted back in 2018, which was $19,700. I need a motion to approve uh, this uh, proposal price of $19,700 by Project Control Engineering for a water distribution reliability study and general plan for Cotterville Township's Water Department. Do I have a motion to approve that? I'll, I'll motion. Okay, we have a motion by Carl. I'll second. We have a second by Sherry. All in favor, signify by saying aye. By roll call vote, please. Bev? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Carl? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Tom's, Tom's excuse. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is number two, request for approval of the 2021 master plan. It's a five-year review, and it was updated to the 2001 <coughs> master plan. It was prepared by Chairman Patricia Runyon in the Counterville Township Planning Commission. A copy is attached. It's that thing that's a big blue folder. Um, we've gone through it pretty thorough. Uh, first, um, Pat and I worked on it about three weeks, and then uh, she took it before the board and the planning commission and they went through item by item and and made any new quirks and she completely re retyped the whole thing and we duplicated it and it's ready for approval if it suits your fancy and i would also like to point out that that when we first did that the first year i think it was twelve thousand dollars we had a outfit montgomery and associates took care of it they're out of business now i think it cost us like twelve thousand bucks, so she's probably saved us close to to twenty. She she's just doing the that. Less the one that was five years ago. They saved a lot of money. Yeah, that one we so. paid. That one I think we saved. Well, she saved us seventeen thousand on on the Parks and Rec. So she's gonna give me a hand with that and get that oh, nice. done too. So nice. Have to work. thank them for all their work on this because they do a good job. Yes, they did a wonderful job. But we have a very fine planning commission. Yep. So I need a motion to approve the uh, 2021 master plan five-year review. I make a motion that we approve the 2021 master plan five years re five year review. Do I have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify it by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Carl? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Tom excused. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And another big thank you to Pat Runyon. Um, we have public comments, but we have no public. So we'll do announcements next. A petition will soon be circulated by residents on a possible extension of city water on a Shortcut Road from Starville Road End towards Marsh Road after a town hall meeting that was held on Wednesday 30th of June and the residents in the area who are in favor of it. Uh, the petitions have been completed. They've been given to the assessor. Um, she's going to be holding a meeting uh, to pass them out to the people that um, want to circulate the petition. I believe they have to sign and date the petition that they have started it, and they I think it's 60 days they have to, to get it signed. And then that comes back to us. So that's just to let you know that. The other thing is we have... Uh, uh, St. Clair County Road Commission Local System Funding Assistance Program application. This is for the 2022, and I need to have it completed by the end of September. So um, discussing the fixing of Shortcut Road was one of the items that we were looking at. 
from Starville to Marsh, each mile section of the road costs $260,000. If we utilize the 100,000 from the county that they're gonna provide, and the balance of what is in our millage fund is as of today, which is 58,000, and then we, the millage would come in for the 2021 winter taxes, it's around 72,000, we would use 42,000 to make our $100,000 match. Plus the balance of 30,000 that would be left in the millage fund from the original 58, and then we would take that 30000 and borrow 50, thir another 30000 from the general fund until the road millage came in for the 2022 winter taxes, which would be another 72000 And once that comes in, then we would uh, repay the general fund, and I think we should offer at least 2% interest, which would only amount to 600 bucks for a year. But um, I think that uh, if, if we went to that extent, that that would be feasible. Now, if the public water comes down Shortcut Road, um, I'm not in favor, and I talked with Tom while I had him on the phone this afternoon. He's, Tom uh, Kaufman is also not in favor of putting in a new road next spring and then have the water assessment get approved and then have them work alongside of the road and tear it all up um, with the construction equipment. So I thought I have to have a backup plan because if we don't take that 100000 or up to 100000 we lose it. So I figured if we waited for another year on Shortcut Road with uh, no emergency work in 2022, I'd then ask for permission to replace the culvert on McKinley Road, 1160 feet north of Lozon Road and south of Shea. Um, an estimated cost of $3,400 was already approved in the April of this year to seek survey, design, and permitting for the culvert replacement, and the actual estimate should not exceed 60000 of which we would be required to match 50% of it or 30,000. Um, I need to complete this road commission local funding uh, application, like I say, by the end of September to get it funded by the road commission for us for next summer's work. What I would like to know, first of all, if you have any questions about this, second of all, do you wanna do a 3A or a 3B? And then once you kind of tell me what you want to do here, we'll make a motion that includes all of the things I just discussed. Do we have them? Anybody have any questions about this? No. Is there anybody that wants to make a motion to approve either uh, the first uh, item on the first mile of Shortcut Road east of Starville, or would you rather approve the replacing the culvert on McKinley Road, 1160 feet north of? Lozen. Well, I personally would go for 3B because I don't like the, you know, the water either coming through and having maybe damage to the road because that'd be double the expense probably. Okay, do we have a second to that? I'll second. Okay, we have a, a motion and, and a, uh, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to describe it as um, <coughs> that Bev, supported by Carl, to approve replacing the culvert on McKinley Road, 1160 feet north of Lozon and south of Shea Road, for an estimated cost of not to exceed $60,000 with the county matching 50% and the township matching the other 50%. Everyone understand the question? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a roll call vote then. Mary Agnes? Yes. Carl? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Tom's excused. Motion carried. Thank you very much. That takes a lot of heat off me. All right, the next thing is announcements. We have a petition that's going to be circulating. Oh, I guess I already did that. Let's go to uh, request by Pat Runyon to have a joint meeting between the Cotterville Township Board and the Planning Commission on Wednesday, September 22nd. That's the fourth Wednesday of September. The third, third, no, fourth Wednesday, because there's five that, that one. At 7.30, and it would be in this boardroom, and uh, I would request that she do the agenda of what she wants, like to have discussed, because if there's things that she wants us to, to explain to her, we might need to, to pull our papers together and get that ready. So if you want to do that, if you think it's a good idea, we haven't had a joint meeting and God, probably, well, Bill's wing was still here, so it's been a long time ago. 
Do we have a motion to approve the, the joint meeting? No. You move it? Yep. Okay. Carol makes that motion and I'll second. All in favor signify by aye, please. Aye. 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 Nays? Hearing none, motion carried. All right. Is there anything that the board members want to discuss? Did you want to tell them about this? Oh, yes, that's the most important thing. <laughs> With the help of our deputy clerk, Michelle Apt, and um, some coaching from our treasurer and my trustees, uh, Carol was very good about catching up with paperwork and making sure that I didn't miss this. So we worked on it about, I worked on it two days and she worked on it uh, probably a day and a half. And we got it all together and this is the proof that, that they've accepted our, our application for non-entitlement units of government and for the coronavirus local fiscal recovery fund. So from now on, we'll refer to them as the NEU and the CLFRF. And this is the money that we're going to receive from the federal government through the state. It's around $314,000, I think is what uh, I remember. And the first payment should come in um, around Christmas. The other payment, um, we, had, we had some other forms that we had to fill out and I completed those and we uploaded those as well. So those had to be filed by October 1st and they have those already, so. Um, and then the next shipment of money will come the following year at Christmas. But um, by the time we get the next one, we have to file what we're going to be planning mm -hmm. as far as spending this money on. And we have to be careful that, that it's something that affects the entire township. Um, we still have people that don't have city water, so it can't be any extensions of water. Um, I don't know if we could include that broadband, because a lot of people don't have broadband, but they have it if they want it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have it, then I, I keep getting not enough activity that people want it. So we've done it now three different times since I've been supervisor, sending out information to get people that want broadband to let us know. We sent it out on postcards, we sent it out on backs of taxes, we sent it out letters, and we sent it out to 1,900 parcels, and we get 160 back and 100 of them don't want it. So it's kind of, but I think with this COVID thing going on, I think uh, some of the older people realize now this is something that the children need because they are doing so much homework from home now. They're doing a lot of, a lot of kids aren't back to school yet, so. Yeah, that, that plus the fact that we're going to be getting money from the government that any cost that they are concerned about is going to be significantly reduced. Yes. That's, I think, why they didn't want it. It's too expensive. It's out there. Yeah. But it's, it's out of people's Well, range. I know that one woman, she told me she, they wanted 30000 from her. Yeah. Well, you know, she, it would be, by the time she got it paid off, it would be her great-grandchildren that would be yeah. able to use it, you know, so. But, um, so anyhow, but we'll have enough meetings on that. We'll kind of kick that around and, uh, and get people's input from that. I hope... Uh, People watching this will see that is uh, it's possible that we can get ideas from the public, um, and we'll see what we can utilize that money for. I have a couple ideas. I'm sure everybody does. So, if you have no more questions or concerns, I would ask for adjournment. Make a motion. Seven forty-nine. Wow, I was kidding with Amy. <laughs> Any, any uh, second? No. I'll sit. Okay. You got a second? Okay. I'll sit. <laughs> All right. We have a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nays. Hearing none. Motion carried. Thank you, everybody at home.